Hi, Jeff here with Corsair. I'm going to show you how to install a Corsair SSD into a Dell Inspiron, and also how to replace the Inspiron memory with some high-performance Corsair Vengeance DDR3 memory. It's going to take less than 30 minutes and only requires basic PC hardware experience. This is the same Inspiron that we used to upgrade the power supply and graphics card in an earlier video. It's now equipped with an Enthusiast Series TX650 V2 power supply and a Gigabyte GTX 570 graphics card. We're installing a 4 Series 3 solid state drive in addition to the hard drive that came with the Inspiron. The 4 Series 3 will be the new boot drive. Moving from a mechanical hard drive to an SSD for your boot drive is one of the best performance upgrades you can make. Boot time, application load times, and overall system performance are all dramatically improved. We're installing 8GB of Vengeance Low Profile High Performance DDR3 memory. The Vengeance Low Profile line is great for smaller systems like this Dell Inspiron, where adding components can be a tight squeeze. Aluminum heat spreaders help dissipate heat and keep the memory cooler. They also give it an aggressive look. We've chosen the blue model, but it's also available in other colors. We also chose Vengeance because it offers great performance at an attractive price. It can be a good choice for building your first enthusiast system. Before we began today, we did some measurements on the Dell Inspiron with its stock hard drive so we can compare them later. We test by having the PC automatically load some applications on startup. The system completed booting in a little over two minutes. Pretty good, but we can do a lot better. The Inspiron ships with a 750 gigabyte hard drive. The 4 Series 3 has 120 gigabytes of unformatted capacity, so we're gonna use it as our new boot drive and leave the hard drive in the system as a secondary storage drive. The Inspiron's case is pretty compact, so we're temporarily removing the graphics card. The 4 Series 3, like most SSDs, has a 2.5 inch form factor, the same drive size found in notebook PCs. Since desktop PCs are designed for 3.5 inch drives, we provide a 3.5 inch adapter with the 4 Series 3 that will work with any standard drive bay. But, the Dell Inspiron isn't quite standard, so we're attaching the SSD to the floor of the case with a little Velcro tape. Since SSDs generate minimal heat and have no moving parts, this won't present an issue. We plug in the two required cables, an SATA data cable from the motherboard, and an SATA power cable from the power supply. And we're done! It's not the most elegant solution, but it works fine. Next, we'll replace the memory that came with the Dell with some high-performance Vengeance memory modules. The Dell shipped with 6GB total and accepts a maximum of 8GB, so we'll be using one of our 8GB kits of Vengeance that has two modules with 4GB on each module. To remove the old memory, we press the release tabs and then lift the memory straight out. Memory modules are keyed to prevent them from being inserted the wrong way. Just line up the key slot on the memory with the key on the socket and press firmly. The tabs will lock the memory in place. If it doesn't go in easily, remove the module, realign it, and try again. If the new SSD is going to be your boot drive, you'll want to transfer the contents of your old hard drive over to the new SSD. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either reinstall the operating system and applications manually, and then transfer your old files directly from your hard drive over to the new SSD, or you can use some disk imaging software, which will allow you to clone the old hard drive directly over to the new SSD. That's how we're doing it. We're using software from Acronis, but there are several disk backup and imaging applications available for this task. Now that we have copied our data over to the SSD using the drive imaging software, we reboot and hit F2 to get into the BIOS screen to specify the new drive boot priority. Once you find the boot options in the BIOS, make sure to make the SSD the primary bootable storage device. The SSD will now take priority over the old hard drive when your system boots up.
With the SSD installed, the Inspiron booted and loaded the software in just 47 seconds. We've saved almost a minute and a half every time we boot. And we're done. We've upgraded the Dell Inspiron with a 4 Series 3 solid state drive and 8 gigabytes of high performance vengeance memory. Not only will the system boot up faster, but it'll run faster. Applications will load and save data more quickly, and the extra memory will come in handy, especially when you're running multiple applications at the same time. As always, if you run into any problems during installation, help from Corsair is just an email or phone call away. Thanks for watching.